Hi Church, I hope you're well. My name is Frankie and together with Tim, my husband, we lead Audacious Geneva. So salut, bonjour if you are listening from sunny, beautiful Switzerland. Um, thank you so much and well done for uh, engaging in these 21 days of prayer and fasting. We are believing for great things. Uh, God to do miracles across all campuses. Um, so, and that involves, that includes you. Um, you are part of the church and God wants to do something amazing in your life. So well done for getting, in board, getting on board. Um, I hope you've got your list of what you want God to do in these t- next 21 days. So this morning, afternoon, whenever you're listening to this, we are praying for Audacious Geneva. Uh, And I would love to share uh, just a little bit of what's on our heart for you to pray for uh, throughout the day. Ephesians 3 verse 20, it says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is is in that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, Audacious Church Geneva, we are two years old, but we are believing this year for God to do the immeasurably more. Um, And what I find interesting about this verse is that just prior to this verse, in um, verses 4 to 19, um, it, it talks about the Ephesians really grasping a few things in God. Firstly, um, his love, that the disciples, that the church would be established and rooted in God's love. And then it also talks about um, in verse 16 that they that the church will be strengthened um, with power through the Holy Spirit. Um, and what I find, why I find that interesting is that once the church, once the Ephesians had grasped some of those important um, truths of God, then it goes on to say, now to him who's able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to the power that is, a, that, is an, is, that is at work within us. That little section, gosh, I can't get it. Um, so once we've grasped some of these truths, then it's then it is that God is able to do immeasurably more through us. So there's, it's important that we grasp the truths talked about in verse 14 to 19, his love, um, etc. So what we're praying actually um, for is spiritual growth within our church, that they would grasp the love of God, that they will be established in the love of God, rooted and established, that they will be strengthened with power through his Holy Spirit. And then what we um, fully believe as a result of that, we will see what we want to see in the city. Um, And that is salvation, impact and influence. So I would love for you to pray for that. Those three things. Firstly, our church and spiritual growth within our church. Um, And then secondly, as a result of that, salvation, because we know that God will, that salvation will spring up once we, our church can uh, disciple and God can trust us with new converts. We know that salvation will happen and it already is happening and we praise God for that. And thirdly, we want to pray for for our impact and influence to increase um, in the city. So those three things, spiritual growth in the church, salvation and our impact and influence to increase in the city. Let's pray really. I'm going to let's pray quickly together. I'll get you started and then I'll leave you to be praying throughout the day for your audacious Geneva family. Lord, I just thank you for what you have started in Switzerland. I thank you that you are faithful to complete that which you've started and the journey that you've started within individuals, you are bringing them to maturity and and you are growing them spiritually. And we pray for that. Lord, may there be spiritual growth within our church in Geneva, Lord. And then we, we just believe that as that maturity, as we establish ourselves more so in your love and grasp the power that is at work within us th- through the Holy Spirit, then we will see a greater impact and influence th- 
through the church in our city and also salvation. We pray for salvation um, if, uh, in Geneva, Lord. May people know you. May people come to know you for the first time. May you draw people to you and your love. And we pray all of this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a brilliant day. Hopefully I'll see you around. And um, I can't wait to hear of all the things, miracles that God is going to do throughout these 21 days across all campuses. Lots of love, as we say in Geneva. Bisous. Ciao.